don't come to easy ELing, learning simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be learning uh, from two mathematics and our topic for today is similarity and enlargement. So today we are going to be looking at enlargement. In the previous lesson we looked at similar uh, objects. Uh, in the case of triangles, we saw similar triangles and we said that they have the ratio of their sides is gives a constant ratio and also the angles are the same. So let's do the actual enlargement. So enlargement sometimes is usually referred to as scaling. It is a kind of transformation that changes the size of the object. From the word, basically you are making the object to be bigger. You are enlarging it to be bigger. And the image created is usually similar to the object despite the name enlargement. It includes making objects smaller as well. That's where we come to, as much as we are making the image bigger, it can also be used to make the image smaller. That's where also we come to um, the uh, fraction scale factor. As we come to the scale factor later. So you can see from the image given, our A, B, C, which is the object, has been enlarged to form A prime, C prime, B prime. And for every enlargement, a scale factor must be specified. So scale factor is how many times larger is the image than uh, the, is the object than the image. Like the the object A, B, C, and then we have the image A one, A A prime, B prime, C prime. How much is the A prime, B prime, C prime larger than the object, which is the A B C? That's what we refer to as the scale factor. And when you look at the length of the side of the image, it usually equals the length of the side of the object times the scale factor. Basically, if you get the size of the image, one side of the image, if you want to get A prime, B prime, you're just going to take AB, multiply the scale factor, you get A prime, B prime. And then for any enlargement, there must be a point called the center of enlargement. So this is the point where enlargement occurs from. And the distance from the center of enlargement to the point on the image is formed. So if you want to get like O A prime, you take the distance from the center of enlargement of the object times scale factor. So if you want to get O A prime, you see it's O a times the scale factor so we're able to get the oa prime so let's look at a few examples so you have been given this image uh, object in the image oa is 1.5 centimeters ob is 3 centimeters oc is 2.9 the image was enlarged using linear scale factor 2 find oa prime OB prime and OC prime. So basically O is our um, center of enlargement. So OC, we have been told this is 2.9. Then OA, meaning if you attach a line to OA, this is going to be 1.5. And OB is going to be 3 centimeters. So if you were to, doing the, to do the calculation, we said for you to get O, a prime it's going to be oa times the scale factor and the scale factor in this case is 2 so this is going to be 1.5 times 2 so 1.5 times 2 will give us 3 centimeters and then ob prime will be ob times the scale factor which is ob 3 centimeters times 2 which will give us 6 centimeters and then finally oc prime is OC times the scale factor. So OC is 2.9. So if you multiply 2.9 times 2, you get 5.8 centimeters. So you notice if we were to draw the image, the image will look like this. What we typically do, we extend uh, this line OC and then now we measure from O to C prime, now using this new measurement. 
So another question is you can be given two uh, the objects and the image and then you're told to locate the center of enlargement and you look for the scale factor of enlargement. So in this case, what you do, we are going to draw the uh, lines joining A, A prime and A, lines joining C prime and C and lines joining B prime and B. And whenever these lines meet, that is where we call the center of enlargement. So for example, if you make a line from A prime to A, a line like that, and make another line, for example, B prime to B, you can go ahead and make another line of C prime and C. You notice they are all going to meet at this point. So this is going to be our center of enlargement. So after that, you have been told to find the scale factor. So it means you have to look for the distance between O. This is going to be our O. You need to look for the distance between O A and our O A prime. So we are going to do O A prime divided by O A. So we will get that distance. Um, as you can see, you place a ruler and you get our O A and OA prime and then you make that division that way you're able to get the difference so like for example in our case our ruler our OA is at 2.5 and then OA prime that is and then OA is at 1.25 which gives us a scale factor of enlargement to be 2 so this is the image that will be generated after you join all the points to uh, the or the center of enlargement. So you can also be given images also with center of enlargement, but now you are told to look for the length. Like in our case, you have been given uh, the object PQR and the image PQ P prime Q prime R prime and the center of enlargement. We've been told the Q Q, OQ is 6 centimeters and OQ prime is 4 centimeters, find the scale factor. So we say scale factor, you get it by doing OQ prime divided by OQ. Whatever ratio you get, that is what we call the scale factor. And we know OQ prime is the same as 6 plus 4 because it's a distance between O and Q prime over OQ which is going to be 6. So this is a 10 divided by 6, so by 2, 3, by 2, 5, which gives us 5 over 3. So 5 over 3 is the scale factor. And then the next question is if PQ, so PQ is 4 centimeters, look for P prime Q prime. Remember what we said, if you get the length of the object, you multiply it with the scale factor, you get the length of the image. So this tells you it's going to be 4 centimeters. Or if you take the ratio that is P prime Q prime over P Q, you get 5 over 3. So this is P prime Q prime is X over 4 times 5 over 3. Or equals to 5 over 3, so this is 3x is equals to 20 divided by 3 divided by 3. So x is equals to 20 over 3. Or it's the same as 4 times 5 over 3, which is the same as 20 over 3. As we said from the formula, the length times the scale factor, uh, you get the length of the image and finally we have this so rectangle a b c is the image a prime b prime c prime d prime is the image of rectangle rectangle a b c d under the enlargement with center o so we have been given o a so our o a is a o a is 12 and o a prime is 4 centimeters and then AB is 6 centimeters and AD prime is 3. So if you were to look for the linear scale factor, remember we said it's OA prime over OA. In this case, OA is 4 centimeters 
OA prime is 12. So by 4, 1, by 4, 3, you get a third. Do not confuse. Remember, it's the image over the object. Even if the image is smaller than the object, do not be worried. As we said, enlargement also can have fraction values, which means that the image is going to be smaller than the object. So that's the linear scale factor. Then the length a, a prime, b prime. So we have been given a, b. So we have a, b, which is 6 centimeters is equal to a prime b prime so we said you can get the image by taking six times the linear scale factor which will give us two or you can do a prime b prime over six which is the object is equals to a third so if you cross multiply this is going to be if you give x times 3 is equals to 6 you divide by 3 you divide by 3 so x is equals to 2 so the length is 2 centimeters and then the length of bc so you have been given bc why is bc bc is 3 centimeters so this is also b we are looking ad ad is 3 centimeters we are looking for BC. Remember, these two sides are equal. So that tells you also a BC is also 3 centimeters for the image. So we are looking for BC of the object. So this tells you the image is 3 centimeters over the object, which we don't know of BC is equals to a third so this is the same as three times three is equals to x which gives us x is equals to nine so it's nine centimeters so that brings us to the end i hope you have been able to understand on enlargement so you notice we were working with positive scale factors so we are going to next see how we can get negative scale factors you can check out more revision questions on the same and notes in the hub. See you in the next lesson.